In this video, we're going to have a look at ratios. A ratio is a comparison between two numbers or quantities with the same unit. A ratio can either be indicated using a colon, for example, 4 to 5, or you can even write it in fraction form. And for this reason, the same calculations can be done for any ratio that you do for a fraction. Let's say that this ratio of 4 to 5 represents the pocket money of a brother and sister, where the brother gets 4 rand for every 5 rand that his sister receives. If the pocket money of the brother doubles to 8 rand, the pocket money of the sister will also have to double and she will receive 10 rand. So in a ratio, we always need to remember that whatever happens on the left-hand side should also happen on the right-hand side. Or your ratio may even consist of three parts and then the same rule applies. If the first part doubles, the second part will double and the third part will double. It is useful to always write a ratio in its simplest form because the smaller the values are, the easier your calculations will be. Here we can now decide to keep the ratio written in ratio form as 27 to 36, or you can decide to rewrite it in fraction form. To simplify a ratio, you need to determine the highest common factor, and in this case, the highest common factor is 9. If you are unsure about how to determine this highest common factor, go and have a look at video 2 again. If I now go and divide the left hand side by 9, I will end up with 3. But if I divide the left hand side, I also need to divide the right hand side and 36 divided by 9 is 4. So here the simplest form for this ratio is 3 to 4. Example 2. Liam lives only 900 meters from the school and Neil lives 2,4 kilometers from the school. Write the ratio of these distances in simplest form. As mentioned earlier, a ratio compares two values with the same unit. So here we are going to start off by changing one of these units so that they are both either in meters or in kilometers. I'm choosing to work in meters, so the 900 will stay 900 meters, and the second value is 2,4 kilometers, and there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, so that will give us 2,400 meters. Therefore, the second part of our ratio is 2,400. Next, we can simplify our ratio. So it is your choice whether you divide by the highest common factor or whether you simplify in steps. For example, you can decide to divide by 100 on each side and then we have 9 to 24. Next, we can divide both sides by 3 and then we'll end up with 3 and 8. 3 to 8 will be the simplest form. To be able to write a ratio as well as simplify a ratio are the two basic principles that you need. Next, we're going to have a look at other calculations we can do using ratios. Example 3. The ratio of time that learners spend on homework and on social media is 5 to 7. If a learner spends 30 minutes on homework, how much time is spent on social media? When a ratio is given, the first part that is mentioned is also the first part in the ratio, in our case, homework. And the second part mentioned, social media in our case, will then be the second part of the ratio, and that is 7. This ratio, of course, describes the relationship between the two and doesn't necessarily give us the actual values. The actual time spent on homework is given as 30 minutes. 
And to determine the number of minutes spent on social media, we need to complete our ratio by repeating what happened on the left hand side, on the right hand side as well. So we need to determine what happened for 5 to change to 30. And if you know your multiplication tables, you will be able to say that 5 times 6 is 30. Therefore, we need to multiply the right hand side by 6 as well. And 7 times 6 will then give us 42. A different approach here would be to ask yourself, 30 divided by 5 will give me what? That will be 6. And that means that if I work in the opposite direction, I will have to multiply by 6. Therefore, we can say that 42 minutes will be spent on social media. It is important to be able to write down your thought process in a meaningful mathematical way. Here, we started off with the actual minutes used for homework and we divided it by the simplified value for homework in the ratio. This gave us the value 6 and we multiplied it with the simplified value for social media in our ratio to end up with 42 minutes. This is a logical way to write down your steps. Example 4. Divide 65 in the ratio 4 to 9. In example 3, we received the ratio as well as one of the actual values for a side in the ratio. This time, we once again receive the ratio, but we also receive the total value for both sides of the ratio. Therefore, here we need to first determine the total number of parts in our ratio. Here we have 4 and 9 parts and if we add them up we'll get a total of 13 parts. Now we need to take our total value and divide it by the total number of parts in our ratio which is 13. This answer will tell me what one part of my ratio will be worth. Next I'm going to multiply this value by 4 to get the actual value for the left hand side of my ratio and then I'll take this same value and multiply it by 9 to get the actual value for the right hand side of the ratio. 65 divided by 13 is 5 which means one part is worth 5. So our left hand side will be 5 times 4 and that is 20. Our right hand side will be 5 times 9 so that is 45. So once this has been divided I will have 20 and 45. From our examples you can see that it is important to be able to write a ratio, simplify a ratio, then use a ratio to determine an unknown value in the ratio and also divide according to a specific ratio.